<laughs> What's happening, guys? It's August the 15th, 2016, and this is you-know-who in his two big orange shirt that people make fun of, but I don't care because I'm going to wear the goddamn thing anyway. All right? How about that? Anyway, i got to get my footstool in order here. But anyway, making my usual fashion statement, it's 7.44 a.m. I got up, and it's raining in Central Texas, USA. So I've got to go to Lowe's Hardware to do my walking this morning. Won't that be exciting? And anyway, other than that, oh, I had a comment. A viewer, subscriber wanted me to do a little thing video on Trump versus Hillary Clinton. Mm. Uh, all right. This is difficult because I really want to be totally frank with you, okay? I, I, and no BS. This is straight up stuff. I'm 71 years old. I'm reasonably intelligent. I have an IQ of about 26, okay? And uh, I, live, I was, grew up in South Texas on a farm. Everybody in Texas at that time was a Democrat, and there were many Texans that could not even spell the word Republican and probably had never heard of it. But now Texas is a Republican state. Figure that one out. But if you just kind of look at the history of the last several years, uh, we had Bush Jr. and Bush Sr. for a total of 16 years of our life. Before that, we had Bill Clinton for 16 years of our life. And now we're looking at, and, now we've, and we've also had in that time, in the last eight years approximately, we've had Barack Hussein Obama. And guess what? The, our nation still functions after all of that. Okay, so neither one of these new people, Trump or Clinton, can, I don't think they can ruin us either. I mean, if these other guys couldn't do it, I'm not really concerned that these people are going to do much either. As far as things changing, here's what's changed in my lifetime. Uh, the rich have gotten richer and the poor have gotten poor. Ta-da! That's it. That's worldwide. That's worldwide. It's like, it's like there's a magnet up at the top and it sucks all the money up. But that's not it. When you have the money and make the rules, guess who you make them to favor? You, you, you. Anyway, enough said about that. So, you know, if you just think about the history, you know, we've had eight years of Obama, 16 years of Bushes, 16 years of Clinton, Bill Clinton, you know, that's a long time. You don't have much more life. You know what I mean? So, if they haven't screwed it up, I don't worry about the rest of it. Now, who would I vote for? Well, you know, it's six to five and pick them. Uh, I will vote for Donald Trump. Now, does that mean you should? No. I mean, there's, I, do I have a lot of issues? I, I don't believe a goddamn word either one of them say hardly. They're so full of shit. But enough said about that. The only reason I'd stick with Trump, I'm, I'm for the Second Amendment. Why? Because I've traveled a little bit in countries that don't have that don't have a Second Amendment or a Constitution that people adhere to. They're you know they, they have some real difficulties. Okay, look at some of these other countries. Look at Venezuela. Look at Mexico. You know look, that's they're right below us. Okay, or south, not below south. But anyway, uh, you know of course. I hate to even mention this one, but of course, one of the things with the Clintons, you got a problem with both sides, okay? You want eight years of Hillary? Huh? You had eight years of Bill, you're going to have eight years of Hillary, that's 16 years that they've controlled this nation. Well, not controlled it, but they've been president. I don't know about that. I don't like these dynasty type things like the Bushes and the Clinton. You know, if you elect Trump, uh, you know, I hope he do. Uh, you know, they could be starting a new dynasty like the Kennedys. I don't know. But, you know, like, shit, what do, it, does it make any difference? I like John Kennedy and some of the things he was for and the reason he got killed, I think, or assassinated, uh, might have been beneficial for this country. But anyway, but then you got to look at the reality of who you are in society. Now, if you've got a lot of investments and you're getting dividend income from large corporations, and you're going to vote for the person that's going to help put money in your pocket. And people vote their pocketbook, I promise you, 100 times out of 100. This Democrat-Republican shit, own it. 
They're voting their pocketbook every single time, and that's the truth. So, if you examine your own life, know where you are, then that'll help you make a choice, maybe. It's not going to make any difference because I'm in the lower one-tenth of one percent. Who am I? Look at me. Who am I? I live in an RV. I'm living on Social Security primarily. Uh, I got one vote. Maybe. It maybe. It depends on who counts the votes, okay? Um, 99% of this country doesn't have any political clout whatsoever. None. None. The corporations and the billionaires rule the world. And that's just the way it fucking is. Okay? I'll tell you, never mind, I was going to tell you a joke about that, but I'm not. So why worry about it? Okay, here's, here's something. Now, I'll end with this because this is a short little video. I just wanted to do this for... To, to clear the air on my political views, which are basically meaningless, however, <clears throat> this will help you clear your mind. This will help you feel better about this whole entire process forever, forever. And every political event and every riot and everything else the media gets in your and crawls in your brain and just hammers on every part of it. Imagine this. This will give you peace of mind. Imagine that when I turn this video off, you go to sleep. You go into a coma, or sleep better. And you sleep peacefully until November whatever, the day after the election. You sleep all the way through all this crap and wake up the day after the election and read the paper or look on TV to see who the president is. Will that make any difference? The fact that you missed all of that? No. No. None. The fact that you missed the daily dose of bullshit for whatever number of days is left won't mean shit. You got me? It won't. So just kind of go into sleep in your mind. Turn the goddamn TV off. Don't listen to the talking heads. Don't listen to the talking heads on the radio either. They're the same thing. That's how they make money. They climb in your brain like little diseases in your brain, you know, and just get all in you so you can't sleep and you just get all upset. No, no, no. Go to sleep. Turn this off. The TV too. Walk outside. Take a deep breath. And forget that crap, unless you get it, got, got some input. But having said that, folks, enjoy your sleep. I'll see you after the elections in November, really. I mean, as far as talking about politics, because I really don't have any impact, and I realize it. Bye-bye. Let's see. Thumbs up. Adios. Thumbs up. Oh, carpe diem. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Go take a nap now. Go s sleep. Sleep. Bye-bye.